This is the Horse Radio Network. This is episode 534 of Horse Tip Daily. A different horse tip, a different equine topic, a different equestrian expert every day. Horse Tip Daily brings the world of equine knowledge to you one day at a time. Today's tip is brought to you by Equestrian Collections. Hi, Coach Jen here, and thanks for tuning in to Horse Tip Daily. Today's tip is from Liv Good of Professional Equine Grooms, an online community created to assist professional equine grooms in creating well-respected and skilled professional profiles, support their long- and short-term career needs, provide resources for employment, continuing education, and benefits. Today's short and to-the-point tip is going to make all of us who struggle with crazy manes on our mounts really happy. It is an excerpt from episode 86 of the Jumping Radio Show, hosted by Chris Stafford, right here on the Horse Radio Network. But first, a word about today's sponsor, EquestrianCollections.com. When dedicated equestrians need quality name brand products for themselves, their horses, or their stables, they go to EquestrianCollections.com. Why, you may ask? Because of the astounding variety of top name brand products that can be found there. EquestrianCollections.com knows that you want products that you can count on, and they have thousands of them available at competitive prices, and they don't stop there. You can also take advantage of savvy shopper email programs, rider reward programs for your stable or club, and even sign up for special unlimited shipping. No matter whether you jump in the meter 15 classes, chase equitation points all the way to Congress or to the Nationals, or just enjoy Big Sky Country aboard your horse. EquestrianCollections.com has the name brand products and great service that you need to help you enjoy your horse time to the fullest. Visit them today, EquestrianCollections.com. Now, enjoy today's tip. Hi, Liv. Welcome back. It's always great to hear from you and the professional equine grooms who I, I think have a, a, quite an arsenal of tips, don't you? Well, Arsenal, it's, that's a strong word, but I'll, I'll take that any day. <laughs> it's definitely a compliment. Um, today I have a tip for you about training manes. Some horses have manes that, that tend to have a mind of their own and like to flip over and be more of a mohawk um, than an actual nicely groomed, flat-laying mane. What I like to do during the grooming process is just get a washcloth, something small, um, brush the mane, and then with the washcloth, get it a little bit damp, and then just lay it over the mane on any parts that maybe are a little askew. And then by the time you're done with your grooming process, it's had a bit of a, um, a hair repurposing, and you can just pull off the washcloth, bridle up, and you're good to go, and that mane will, over time, start to lay really flat for you. Well, we've all all had those manes, so that's a very useful little tip to get them to go your way. And they're so annoying, aren't they, Liv? You know, you just get a little bit that just will not comply, and sometimes Mm -hmm. people will braid or plait them over, plait them down, And but there are some that are just so stubborn, aren't they? Yes, and, you know, I like like putting some training braids in there, but I find that um, most horses overnight – at some point are going to rub, um, and then you end up with damage to the mane itself. So I would prefer to kind of work on it on a daily basis, unless you are one of those riders that can tolerate having bed head on your horse all the time. <laughs> bed head. <laughs> well, what, I'm not one of those riders. <laughs> well, I remember what I used to do was not so much plait them or braid them, as we say here, but just bunch them. And if it might be just one or two plaits, and you might just leave them in the day or just leave them on while you're riding or just for certain periods of of the day so as not to leave right. them in overnight, as you say, because they will invariably rub them out. Of course. Of course. Of course. Horses being horses. But I like this, the damp towel effect to uh, try and train yes. that mane over. Well, terrific. Thank you very much for that. Well, there you go. A handy tip for professional grooms. I know I'm going to use that one on my crazy-haired horse, Beaker. To listen to more grooming tips, just go to horsetipdaily.com and go to the Topics drop-down menu on the left. You can also go to proequinegrooms.com for more grooming ideas, resources, and great blogs, too. 
And if you want to catch up on everything in the show jumping and hunt seat world, head on over to jumpingradio.com and listen to Chris's show every week. Please stop by the Horse Tip Daily Facebook page and let us know what you think of the tips you hear on the show. It's also a great place to tell us about topics you'd like to hear us cover. You can subscribe to all of the great shows on the Horse Radio Network through iTunes or Zune and get your horse podcasts automatically downloaded to your iPod, Zune, or MP3 player. I'll be back again tomorrow with another new expert and a different horse tip. Until then, go ride your horse! The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements of guests or their opinions. Use your own judgment when listening to the tips provided by the experts on Horse Tip Daily.